Uh, right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to take you on a very quick whirlwind tour on the Partners in Learning Network website. Partners in Learning is, is the funding body within Microsoft that makes these kind of things possible from our perspective. So there's a lot there that we, that we do. Um, and what we want to do is drive teacher skills, student skills up using our technologies. I mean, you're all working off of Microsoft Office. I don't think we leverage what's in there well enough. I see a lot of Google Docs, which are great, a lot of other devices, but we have a great set in here. Um, and we want to make sure the leaders understand what we're trying to do with the programs that we run. So the resources that this site is going to give you are both from a leadership perspective and from a teaching perspective in how to use Microsoft tools in a classroom. The support that we give you on the site, there'll be training videos, there will be support videos, and there will be people that you can connect to to get your answers put questions answered. And what we want you to do is just what you're doing here. This is a global ver version of a constant teach me. Teachers in the, in the Partners in Learning Network are continually sharing, collaborating, and communicating with each other. So if you need to twin with a school somewhere in the world, there's a teacher on this site that is doing your subject in another part of the world that you can connect with very easily. So how do we get the, the access to, to the resources in the classroom? This is a a way for you to get access to a lot of these tools for free, the teaching support that's there. I'm going to drive to these very quickly because this is just a lot of bump. Actually, this, this presentation that I'm showing you is Microsoft Confidential, so don't tell anybody you saw this. <laughs> this hasn't been released yet. You're the first people seeing this. Um, so how does it work in reality? What we do is we say we, we want to tell the story through your eyes through the teacher's eyes, because we know that you are the most important people in the classroom other than the students. Without you being engaged with them using these tools, you're going to be disconnected and disengaged from them. So how do we take these applications and use them properly in a relevant manner? Um, and how do we kind of humanize technology? Technology, uh, I, I saw a, a level of excitement in here today that was really great to see. It was a bunch of ICT people that got together tonight and are sharing their passion. How do we share that passion to those non-adopters, to the techno folks that are in there that are holding classrooms back? This is what we want to help you do, to drive this message and this vision into the classroom across the board. So we do this through access to a, a whole suite of tools that are all free. And you, you can download any of them and use them. I've done teacher training staff days throughout Northern Ireland, and when I show the tool set that's for free already available, teachers are generally amazed that they're so easy to use, they're so accessible, and the kids love to use them. And they can go onto the C2K network. So that's the big non-blocker. Um, how do we apply these technologies in the classroom? So how do I use auto collage in a history class? How do I use Kodu in a math class? So how do we do these things? There's teachers up there doing this, that can help you kickstart your ideas. If you want to steal their ideas, that's great. But we always say put your own stamp on it. And how do we make your profile dynamic enough that people see who you are and want to share and communicate with you on the site? So there's a recognition problem. There's going to be a certification that's going to go for master teachers for Microsoft Teaching. So that'll be recognized globally. Um, so. I'll get you to the page real fast. This is the, the website itself. It, has, it can translate into 36 languages, so you can talk to teachers live in their home language, and they can talk to you in your home language. Think about how powerful a tool that is. It actually does that if you do that on Bing or in Link and some of our other products. It translates live for you. So the home page, this is what it looks like. Everything we're doing is based on what's called the Metro style now. So you'll see Windows 8 came out yesterday. Windows 8 is the new Metro style. If you look at my, my smartphone, it's, it's a Metro style smartphone. So I can type my password in probably. <laughs> Everything is based on tiles now. And you're gonna see this a common across all of what Microsoft's doing now in all of our technologies. We've been too disjointed in the way we present what we do. People get lost in our stuff. So the, the, the resources that are available, there's over 30 products up there that you can download tomorrow or tonight for free by just joining. There's tutorials to support you how to use those things, and the majority of these tutorials were made by teachers. A lot of them were done by teachers in the UK. 
uh, step-by-step guides and videos.